Ben Boko. Okay, Sige. Hi everyone and welcome to this special video. Meron akong uh, special guest na kakausapin natin, right? So, guys, I would like you to meet uh, my good friend, si Jeff. And he's also my account manager. Tama ba? Itoro. Sa eToro. Okay? So, Jeff, uh, pakilala ka sa ating mga viewers. Uh, so, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Jeff. So, I'm Tama Theater Fitz. I'm Fitz's uh, account manager sa eToro. And most likely, um, either me or some of my other colleagues, uh, kami nag-handle ng Philippine business ng eToro. So, um, most likely, kami rin yung maging account manager ninyo. So, if ever may any questions kayo about eToro or may concerns kayo, Kagaya ni Sir Pitt, send me an email lang. Um, you can also schedule a call with us as well. Uh, ano bang official title mo sa eToro? Uh, so, I'm a Business Development Associate uh, Business for the Devel Philippine region. Ah, okay. So, kung hindi kayo familiar, ano ba yung eToro na yan? Diba? Ano ba ang eToro? It is a... Uh, so, eToro basically is a multi-asset broker. Uh -huh. um, so, for example, kung familiar kayo sa Call Financial, uh, mm -hmm. First Metrosec, BDO Nomura, uh, sila, local stock brokers sila. Uh -huh. So, eToro, uh, multi-asset broker tayo, meaning may stocks tayo, mm -hmm. um, international stocks. Um, we also have FX, so for forex. example, Forex. Correct. Uh, so, Forex, as well as commodities, oil and gold, mm -hmm. um, indices, like uh, kung narinig nyo na yung uh, S&P 500, yes, uh, Dow uh, Jones. Yung mga so, index ng mga stocks sa ibang bansa. Yes, so, correct. So, aside from that, meron din tayo, of course, cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies. So, uh, so, malaking usapan nyo yung cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, ano pa ba, Bitcoin Cash, a lot of other yes. uh, coins. As well as um, ETFs. So, ETFs, yun yung isa sa yun yung isa sa pinakamalaking difference natin um, with other brokers. Uh, so, karamihan ng mga um, online international brokers, nag-offer din sila, some of them, ng stocks, some of them have commodities as well. Mm -hmm. Pero karamihan sa kanila, wala silang ETFs. So, ah, okay. ETFs basically, uh, exchange-traded funds, medyo boring sila. Pero it's also a good vehicle for investments. Well. well, ako personally, I believe that uh, investing should be boring. Not, oh, kasi, of course, di ba, meron tayong inaasikasong career if we are running a business. So, gusto natin yung investing natin. Hindi masyadong oh, tama, tama. tinututukan, di ba? Um, it's growing on its own. Tama, tama. Kung baga medyo passive siya, hindi mo kailangan full. Kasi may oh. full-time job ka na eh. Yes. Yeah, so, right. um, I believe kasi na merong kailangan nag-aaral ka, nag-a-analyze ka kung saan maganda mag-invest. Pero dapat kaumpisa lang yun. Tapos after nun, Pwede mo na patulogin yung na pera yes. so that you can focus on making more money. Yes, diba? correct, correct. So, so basically, ah, oh, sorry, sorry. So basically, para siyang, um, para siyang starting a new job or starting a new venture sa business din. Yes. Diba? Uh, May konting setup ka sa simula, uh, magkailangan mo pag-aralan. And then after that, uh, it's supposed to be, um, ano na siya, gagalaw na siya on. So, uh, so basically, guys, ang eToro, uh, it's a multinational company. Diba? Right. Uh, hindi siya based sa Pilipinas lang. No? Right. It is uh, present in several other countries. Uh, 150 countries. 150 countries. No? So, of course, we always uh, say na maganda mag-invest. Mm -hmm. And madalas tinatanong sa akin, maganda ba, saan daw bang maganda okay. mag-invest okay. na mutual fund, na stock market. Pero, as, of course, if you just invest in the Philippines, mm -hmm. yung mga mutual funds in the Philippines or yung mga stocks sa Philippine Stock Exchange, Although, may difference sa performance nila, over the long term, halos pareho-pareho lang yung performance yes. kasi it's all invested in, in the Philippine economy. Right. So, if you really want to diversify, uh, it's good to invest in other countries. No? Yes, so, like uh, stocks in the US mm -hmm. or mga forex, forex yes. no? and then commodities. You have commodities, you yeah, have precious metals mm -hmm. or, and the like. No? So, Kung mapapansin ninyo, kunwari, medyo slow yung economy ng Pilipinas or economy ng Southeast Asia, hindi ka masyadong kumikita. Oo, right. eh paano kung pa paakyat pala yung economy or yung mga stocks sa US? Hmm. Sayang, di ba? So, so, 
eToro provides you accessibility, no? Right, right. Not just sa mga US stocks. Ano pang mga stock exchange meron sa London? Yes, so London Stock Exchange, um, Paris Stock Exchange, uh-huh. uh, the one in Frankfurt in Germany as well. German, uh-huh. um, And recently, ang dinagdag natin is yung sa Hong Kong. So I believe this uh-huh. was around November. Uh, uh, nagdagdag din tayo ng stocks from the Hong Kong Stock yes. Exchange. And of course, di ba, hindi lang stocks, pati nga yung mga uh, foreign exchange, no? Uh, ETFs and uh, cryptocurrencies, no? Yes. So, lalo na ngayon, ang daming <laughs> scam sa mga Bitcoin, Bitcoin, tama, tama. di ba? Kasi, a lot of these people, they uh, prey on people na hindi alam, hindi walang alam. No? So, ito guys, no? If you want to uh, get your hands on Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency. I can vouch for uh, eToro na hindi kayo masgaskam dito. Kasi, <laughs> iba kasi, di ba, may sariling website lang. Kasi kinabukasan. Bukang legit. <laughs> pag, pag deposit mo ng pera, ano. Kinabukasan, wala na. Wala na, okay. So, I I also believe na ang eToro, it's not just a an online broker, no? Hmm. It is also like a social networking. Correct. Para sa Facebook, pero lahat na nag post doon ay tungkol sa financial, financial market. market no? right. Can you tell more about that? Ano ba yung uh, features, na, features na? So, perfect. So, basically, um, tama si Tipitz. Basically, um, pag, pag familiar ko sa Facebook, halos lahat, I, I believe lahat tayo kay Facebook, uh-huh. even me. Um, so, normally, as you scroll natin is cat videos. Um, videos <laughs> ng um, relatives natin. Uh-huh. Saan sila nagbakasyon? Friends natin. Or nakikipag-away. Yes. <laughs> uh, mga political posts. Uh-huh. Um, but sa eToro, basically, ang mga posts na may kita mo doon, meron tayong news feed. Ang mga posts na may kita mo doon um, are posts by other traders, other investors, about certain topics on the financial market. Yes, yes. So, uh, similar to Facebook, pwede ka mag-tag. And pwede uh, ka magsulat sa wall nung um, friend mo. Yes. Uh, sa eToro, pwede ka rin magsulat sa wall uh, nung specific na asset na yun. So for example, let's say Bitcoin. Pwede uh, mo siyang uh, gawa ka ng post, pwede ka mag-tag um, ng Bitcoin doon. And then lahat ng mga tao na pupunta sa wall ng Bitcoin, uh, may kita. Yes. Oh, so para na rin siyang online forum, no? Correct, correct. Uh, plus social networking, no? Kasi... Uh, Halos ilan na ba ang mga users ng eToro? So, eToro right now, we have over 10 million active users. 10 million, di ba? Grabe, sobrang dami. Users. So, itong 10 million active users na to, these are people na may investor, yes. merong trader, yes. merong nag... Uh, speculators lang. Speculators. Yes. Merong mga mahilig sa stocks, may mahilig right. sa forex, etc. And meron dyan, katulad ko, na ano lang... Na, nanunood at saka nakiki-invest and then nagpa-fall. Correct. Oo, sa iba, no? So, actually, um, regarding nga doon sa sinabi mo nga lang ngayon, Fitz, um, may nap- napansin namin na um, meron meron din certain client base ang eToro na hindi nila kami main broker, to be honest. Oo. Um, ginagamit nila yung eToro for some stocks or, for example, some products na gusto nilang pasukan. So, for Uh-oh. example, um, let's say meron silang um, one forex broker na kanilang primary forex broker uh, um, pero hindi siya nag-offer ng stocks or hindi nag-offer ng commodities uh, yes, yes, so pupunta uh, sila sa e-tolo so um, one thing din naman na napapansin din namin is which is normal which is part of the diversification um, um, concept nga rin uh, yes is in terms of your brokers then of course kailangan diversified ka rin meron din uh, kasi di ba um, nakatawa minsan tinatanong normal sa financial and services industry, tatanungin sa'yo kung baka mamaya scam ka, baka mamaya mawala yeah. ka kinabukasan. Uh-oh. So, of course, one one way to diversify is to have multiple accounts in multiple brokers. Then. Yes. But in, in any case, I'm sure they're also wondering, kailan ba nagsimula ang eToro? Ah, so eToro started 2007. So, 2007. So, right. more than 10 years na. So, I, ako, ha, sinasabi ko lagi, ang mga scam, mga pyramid scheme, mga manluloko sa online. Years. Yeah, hindi yan tatagal ng 10 years. So that's uh, also one way for you to know kung li- legit ba yung pinapasok mo, no? So uh it has been uh, around since 2007. They already have around 10 million users. Sa Pilipinas, mga ilan ang users um, so, or ilan yung mga may account sa Pilipinas? So right now, um every every month ang uh, nakukuha nating um new accounts from the Philippines, almost 6,000 plus na. Wow, alright. Um, of course, yung mga accounts na to, uh, hindi lahat sila funded. Um, uh-huh. yung, yung iba sa kanila, bago pa lang, nagsisimula pa lang. Mm. Um, but from these 6,000, every single month, 
of course, meron pa rin certain number na nag-fund na account sila. Yes, ako katulad ko. Yes. Ah, yeah. Parang ganun siya. And I also believe na may mga OFWs din kayo, yes. di ba? Oh. So, uh, that's the best part about eToro since uh, regulated tayo in three different um, countries and um, over 150 countries nga tayo available. Uh-huh. So, generally, kahit saan ka pumunta, um, pwede. Yes. Uh-huh. So, of course, meron tayong ibang countries where hindi tayo available. So, uh, sometimes, yun yung isa sa mga limitations. But, uh, 150 countries is I think and, still not yeah, good. I'm sure you're also working on uh, correct, correct. Uh, expanding to more countries in the future. Correct. No? So regarding uh, um, that one, last um, before last year, hindi kami available sa US. Uh-huh. So we before last year we offered US stocks, but we weren't available in the US because uh, maraming regulations. Yes, so uh-huh. mahipit sila dun, eh. uh-huh. Um So we worked for I think it was close to a year. Uh, and finally, last year, we were able to launch in the U.S. So, may uh, U.S. office na tayo and available na tayo for U.S. clients. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, actually, that's a, that's also one sign na uh, legitimate yung company because sobrang higpit ng regulations sa U.S. No? Yes. If you have an U.S. office, that's a very good sign na yes. talagang pinag-aralan ka right. nung regulations doon at uh, not, hindi ka manuloko o hindi ka basta-basta. Yes. Right. 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 Okay. So, one thing that I also want to discuss with you and to let our viewers know is yung social copy trading. Okay. Okay. Kasi guys, sa eToro, of course, pwede ka mag-invest, pwede ka mag-trade ng iba't ibang mga, mga instruments. No? Pero yun nga, what if, hindi katulad ko, uh, ah, busy, yes. or, or bago ka, hindi ka pa marunong, or katulad ko, medyo busy, wala akong time na mag-change sa mga charts. No? Uh, na-mention natin kanina, meron tayong, ang social. itoro, um, meron sa social aspect, so para sa Facebook. Pero beyond that, meron siyang feature called so, uh, copy trading. Copy trading. We're, we're in, uh, pag may nakita kang trader or investor na medyo magaling, yes. pwede mo siyang kopyahin. Okay? So, hindi ka na mag-iisip, mag-i-analyze. So, kung ano man yung ginagawa ng taong yon yun din yung uh, mangyayari dun sa portfolio mo, sa account mo. And, uh, yeah, let Jeff so, tell you more about that so, copy trading. So, basically, uh, nakat, nakatuwa yung copy trading kasi um, yun nagsimula ang eToro since, again, 2007 pa kami. Um, yung pinakaunang offering namin, hindi pa available copy trading before, eh. yes, yung pinakaunang uh, offering namin is the social aspect pa lang. Uh-oh. So, um, we made cl- um, clients' accounts very transparent. So, whatever na tinitrade mo, nakikita ko. Yes, whatever tinitrade ko, nakikita mo. Um, Para hindi ako pwede maloko na, uy, lagi akong panalo. Yes, yes. So, kung Pero, sinabi mong, uh, yung record ko. Yes, kung sinabi mong, fits, kumita ako ng 20%, ano tinitrade mo? Tapos parang ayaw mong sabihin. So, Uh-oh. of course, you can prove yourself. And it was, yung so- social copy trading, yun na yung next logical step. Uh-oh. Kasi basically, nakikita ko na yung ginagawa ni fits, nakikita ni fits ginagawa ko. Um, kung kung magaling si Fitz, ba't ko na lang siya kopihin? Yes. Uh-oh. So that was the next logical step. Uh, so basically, tama yung nabanggit nyo nga kanina, Sir Fitz. Um, social copy trading or copy trading for short, um, whatever na gagawin ng trader na kinopya mo, automatic na gagawin din sa account mo. So in a way, um, para kang nagpipigibak. Oo. Para kang nagpipigibak dun sa account or sa trading ng isang tao. And the best part is, um, yung tao na kinopya mo, tinetrade niya, sarili niya account lang. Uh-oh. Right. So, for example, even if, let's say, I have 1,000 uh, copiers, 1,000 na tao ang kumokopya sa akin, whatever ginagawa ko, ginagawa rin nila. Uh, for me, yung strategy ko or yung trading ko, same pa din. Uh-oh. Yes. Kasi hindi ko naman, hawak ko yung uh, pera nila, pero tinetrade ko pa rin sarili kong pera, sarili kong account. Yes, yes. Uh, nangyari yan dati, no, na kunwari, merong magpipresenta na, uy, magaling akong trader. P- forex yes, trader, yes. no? And kung gusto mong kumita, bigay mo yes, sa akin yung pera yes, mo, correct, no? Correct, correct. And pag binigay nyo na yung pera sa kanya, biglang itatak ko. Yes, yes. The scam na, no? So, tsaka sinasabi nila magaling silang trader, pero walang proof. Ang yes. pinapakita nila yung mga very uh, dubious na mga charts na, uh-huh. ay, ang laki-laki na kinita ko. So, sa itoro, merong transparency. So, you can really see kung sino yung magaling mag-trade. And of course, you have list, di ba? May mga top list sila, top performers. So, pag may nakita kang gusto mong, ay, gusto ko yung style niya ng pag-trade, no? 
pwede mong actually it's not really giving the money to yes, him right yun, yun, you're yun, connecting yun. your account sa kanya him, yes, oh yes. so pag kinon so hindi in, yung pera nasa iyo pa rin yun yes, yes. and you have full control of the money pa rin so for example ako i have uh, 200,000 ako i have mga apat na yung kinokopya ko so for example ako i am a, an active trader i have 100,000 dollars sa account ko okay tapos si Jeff meron siyang 1,000 dollars no So, kung nag-decide siya, nakikopyahin ako. So, ako, siyempre, nagtitrade ako. Tapos, naisip ko, bumili ako ng $1,000 ng stocks ng Amazon. Hmm. Sa kanya, may, ano siya, di ba? Uh, since Percentage. So, yes. kunwari, since $1,000 na yun sa kanya, sa akin, $100. 1%. So, 1%. So, parang mga around $1. Yes. Yun yung bibili ng Amazon. So, so ano siya, may, may proportion. May proportion tayo. And actually, ikaw nga yung magde-decide kung gano kalaki. So kung meron sa 1,000, sasabi niya, siguro yung 200 dollars lang yung portion na kukopya doon sa ginagawa ko. Di ba? Yes, correct. So, so ang, magkano ba yung minimum para uh, 200 dollars yung minimum dollars. para makopya? So basically, um, similar to your um, local stock brokerage account, magde-deposit ka ng pera mm-hmm. and then uh, sa account mo may balance ka. Let's say 1,000 dollars. Uh, so may 1,000 dollars ako sa balance ko. And let's say, kukopyan ko si Pits with 200. 200 yung minimum to copy yes, one person. Uh, so, let's say, kinapi kita with 200, meron pa akong 800 sa balance. Ko. Yes, uh, so, itong 800, pwede ko siyang gamitin however I like. Mm-hmm. If I want to copy another person, pwede. Yes. Um, pero for example, let's say, may nakita ko news about Bitcoin. Na, gusto kong, yes, gusto uh, kong habulin. Yung natira kong, let's say, 600 na balance, pwede kong gamitin pang 100, pang bilhin ng Bitcoin. Kung may nakita ko news about Facebook stock, yes, pwede kong uh, gamitin yung iba for Facebook stock. So, it's all up to you. And for example, um, let's say, nakita ko yung, kinakapi ko yung account nyo, Sir uh, Pits, pero nakita ko na, parang kumita na ako sa pagkakapi sa'yo. Oo, oh, 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 Okay na ako dito. Pwede anytime pwede stop. niyang i oh, Actually guys, ako, I have dollars sa account ko. Meron akong apat na kinokopya na tip to 200. Tapos, ang maganda pa, kasi yung 200, I trade it on my yes, own. Yes, correct. No? Pero yung apat na kinokopya ko, Uh, dalawa doon, conservative lang. Mm-hmm. Tapos may isang uh, moderate risk kasi isang high risk. Yes. Kasi yung mga traders na bago mo kopyahin, meron din silang rating, di ba? Yes, kung correct. ano ba siya, or... aggressive ba siya or conservative type. So, kung medyo takot kayo na nakikita yung account nyo na nag-negative. Yes, no? yes, yes. So, pwede kayong maghanap ng mga traders na medyo conservative lang or low risk lang yung tinitrade na sila yung kukopyahin mo para Correct. hindi masyada na kukopyahin yung account. No? Correct. So actually, um, yun yung tinatawag natin na risk score. So very, very prominent siya. So again, uh, we believe na as with investments, kailangan nyo laging tignan yung risk. Mm. So kapag pumunta kayo sa website, copy people na page, may kita nyo of course yung performance ng trader. Yes. Yun naman yung... Na certified yes, na totoo. Yes. No? Hindi kayo lolokohin na uy, parang lagi panalo. Yes, so, yes, yes. So, makikita nyo yung ano. Yung performance niya um, right there, nandun sa account. Kung gusto nyo tignan yung breakdown, pindutin nyo lang profile, nandun siya. Um, together with the performance, meron parating risk score doon. So, uh-huh. yung risk score, yun yung nabanggit ni Sir Fitz. Basically, um, combination siya of a lot of factors. Number from, numbers siya from 1 to 10. 10 being the most risky, 1 uh-huh. being the most conservative. Yes. So, the key thing sa eToro is, once yung risk score mo, 7 and above, uh-huh. hindi ka na pwedeng kopyain. Ah, talaga? Yes. Kaya pala 6 yung pinakamataas yes, na kopya yes. ko. Um, yung, yung idea behind it, of course, is kung very risky ka, okay lang naman kasi sariling account mo naman. Yes, oo. Oh. Diba? Pero kung very risky ka, um, tinipigilan na namin yung um, client base natin para kopyain ka. Kasi what if nalugi ka, edi lugi rin silang lahat. Yes, oo. Oh. Ano so, na lang, course, safety uh, measure safety na rin. Measure din yun. Yeah. Pero ako yung, yung pinokopya kong six na ano hmm. uh, medyo risky okay naman kasi ay minomonitor ko ar- i think around 18% na yung gain ko okay. uh, almost oh. a year ko na siyang kinakopy oh, so di ba not, not yes. bad di ba so anyway i'm sure ang tinatanong na nila ngayon is paano ba mag-open na account sa eToro no so basically guys i'm going to give you a link where you can uh, uh, sign up for eToro kasi yung link na to um magkakaroon kayo ng $100,000 na virtual, virtual money o oh, virtual account so that you can experiment. Mm-hmm. And then, once you sign up, tatawagan kayo ni Jeff. Yes. So, um, or, one key thing is, um, ang recommendation namin is, for example, um, if you weren't able to sign up, and let's say you view this video, you weren't able to sign up using Sir Fitz's link, 
um, pwede nyo pong send ng email or pwede, nyo, pwede kayo mag-reach out kay Sir Fitz um, para matag natin under you and uh, then we can provide the support. Kasi, um, again, guys, uh, we kasi siyempre, di ba, ano, 6,000 pesos. Ayaw nyo na hindi pino yung magiging account yes, manager. Yes. Para, para si Jeff yung account manager nyo. Sabihin nyo sa akin or sa kahit email nyo siya. Ilalagay ko yung email niya. Yes. Email nyo para pag mag-create kayo ng account, under kayo sa kanya. Yes, para may, may oh. Philippine support tayo. Oo, oh, tapos, yes. Uh, para shortcut na lang, i-click nyo na lang yung link yes, na provided dito sa video right. para automatic si Jeff ang inyong ano, account manager. Yeah. Uh, so, kung marami tayo, meron na rin kami new Philippine uh, support as well. Uh, pero so, mga boss ka nila, di ba? Di ba? Sana, sana. Sana. Soon. <laughs> yeah. so, um, uh, so, generally, um, they want, yan, we want Filipinos yes, to be the one to uh, help you, di ba? Kasi correct. may hirap pag-ibang nationality. May... Mahirap, hindi maiintindihan. Yes, May yes. language barrier. Plus, of course, yung mga Filipino uh, account managers, mm. naiintindihan nila yung mga... Pinoy din kami. So, paano ba mag-fund? Yes. Kasi yun, yun din yung isang mga challenge. Eh. Paano yes, ba mag-fund yes, ng account? Paano mag-withdraw? At least, familiar sila sa mga mga payment facilities yes. at kaya mga financial institutions and services dito sa Pilipinas. Yes. So, right? Yes. So, um, one more thing, uh, since nabanggit nyo na rin yung um, payment, so, uh-huh. just just to be, uh, para at least, nandito na rin tayo, um, basically, for eToro, right now, uh, we accept um, deposits from uh, using local credit debit cards, uh-huh. uh, PayPal, and international bank card transfer. Mm-hmm. Uh, kung meron, Kung meron mga iilan na gumagamit ng Skrill, Netteller, mm-hmm. um, tinatanggap din natin. Ah, uh, so, feel free to use that one. And ang minimum natin, again, is $200 for minimum. the first deposit. Uh, yes. First deposit lang yun. Yes, so first deposit is $200. Uh, all other deposits, let's say nag-deposit ka ng $200, pag mag re deposit ka na, $50 na lang yung minimum. Ah, okay. So, yung $200 right. sa pinakauna lang yun. Kauna lang, initial, initial funding lang. Yes, so as long as again... And then pag uh, mag re naman ako... Ah, okay, perfect. So, of course, uh, yun yung... Kailangan ba meron akong uh, dollar account? Ah, so, hindi naman. So, hindi. we oh. get that question a lot as well. Hmm. Kailangan ba may dollar account ako to deposit and to withdraw? So, hindi kailangan. Ang kailangan nyo lang is um, whatever method ang... Ah, sorry. Ang um, first option kasi natin, ang default option natin is always what you use to deposit, doon namin binabalik yung withdrawal. Uh-huh. Hmm. So, for example, if you use a credit debit card to deposit, doon lang din sa same Doon din babalik. Oh. And um, either way naman, every time na gumagawa kayo ng withdrawal, um, humihingi kami ng alternative mode of payment. Mm-hmm. So basically, just in case hindi namin mapadala dun sa first option, um, dun namin sa alternative pinapadala. Oh. Normally, yung alternative, um, bank account lang. Oh. So kahit na peso bank account? Yes, pwede. pwede. So, yung banko na lang ang mag- mag-convert. Mag-convert, alright. So oh. normally, yung banks yung mag- uh, all that, every time, whatever you use, PayPal, credit debit card, bank wire, sila yung mag convert uh, magko-convert. Ah, uh, yung ano, yung institution, Yes, no? correct. Alright. Uh, so, one other thing din, um, ngayon, almost June na rin, um, pretty soon, we're about to launch our local online banking option. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, right now, again, credit debit cards yung pinaka-accessible sa Philippines, uh, sa Filipinos, um, but we're looking more into adding um, local online banking. So, right now, we're in the beta testing na. Uh-huh. So, pretty soon, uh, for example, kung sanay kayo mag-transfer um, lang ng pera from your uh-huh. mobile banking or, for example, bills payment, parang yes, ganoon, yes. ba online? Um, so, pretty soon, pwede na rin kayo mag-transfer to eToro uh, using online banking na rin. And withdrawal, oh, doon lang din. Very convenient. Yes. Yes. So, well, actually, eToro has an app. Yes, correct. So, you can manage your account while on the go. So, it doesn't, you, know, man, you don't have to open uh, your laptop yes. or your desktop, no? You can monitor your account. You can even uh, trade on your yes, phone. On online. Your phone. Meron very user-friendly na yes. app. Yun yung gusto ko sa platform ng eToro. Very simple yung, yung interface. Hindi nakaka-intimidate. Yes, so, oh. um, yun nga, uh, one other thing that we always tell our clients, um, feel free to open a virtual account. Again, 100K na um, virtual money and free naman siya. Uh-oh. You don't have to deposit if you're not famili- if you're not comfortable yet. Uh-oh. Pwede mong you're not yet ready, muna. di yes. paglaruan nyo muna. And um, I encourage everyone, uh, syempre, yung may mga ibang tao na, for example, expose sila sa local stocks or other platforms, Uh-oh. ang normal na sinasabi nila sa amin is, parang hindi ko inimagine na gan- yung uh, stock brokerage platform or a uh, brokerage platform Ganto ka simple, ganto ka ganda tignan, parang yes. ganun. Oo, kasi I think you're one of the 
uh, objective talaga ng Itoro is to encourage more people to invest and trade. No? Yes. So, wag mo sila, hindi nyo sila tinatakot na pagpasok nila. Ang daming chance, ang daming, <laughs> ang daming umiilaw. No? Correct, correct. So, at least ito, very user-friendly user kung correct. magaling kayo mag, or may, hili kayo mag-Facebook. Very ah, intriguing, di ba? Yes. Oh, para lang kayo na sa Facebook. Pero, walang nag-aaway. <laughs> mga, <laughs> lahat nag-discuss ng mga yes, financial yes. matters. Which is very good, no? And, um, I guess that's it. Okay. Uh, so, any last words para sa ating mga viewers? So, uh, so um, can you invite them to sign up sa Itoro? Yes, of course. Um, so, um, before I go, just want to let everybody know yung um, vision and mission namin sa Itoro. Basically, ang vision ng Itoro is to make um, the financial markets, to open the global financial markets for everybody to trade and invest in a simple and transparent way. Yes. So, uh, mapapansin ninyo, as you go along the platform, yun, mapapansin ninyo, yun parati yung nasa core natin is to make it simple, transparent, and easy. Alright. Um, to make it accessible to everybody. So, um, I highly encourage everyone, kung gusto nyo simulan yung trading or investing journey ninyo, um, please sign up under Sir Fitz's link up under this uh-huh. video, maybe. Um, and then, again, uh, once you sign up under Sir Fitz's link, uh, we will reach out to you. Uh, me and um, our, our Filipino colleagues will reach out to you. And if you ever have any questions, um, you have any concerns, uh, gusto nyo matuto pa, uh, you can always reach us either through email um, or meron kaming um, landline number or a link where you can schedule a call with us as well. Alright, alright. So, I hope may natutunan kayo dito sa video natin and I hope na-excite kayo yung mga wala pang account sa eToro. Uh, I definitely encourage you to try it out. And yung mga naghahanap ng something different to yes. invest on, no? uh, you want to diversify, uh, you want to try your hand at the U.S. stock market mm-hmm. or in currencies, etc. Um, ito, eToro is a very good uh, platform for you to diversify your uh, portfolio. And also, you can also try yung kanilang social copy trading. Yes. So, passive income yun. Yes, ano? basically passive income Basically yun. passive income. I, I, I can vouch for that, no? Na lumalaki yung portfolio ko passively. Na, nagkopya lang ako ng mga magagaling. And of course, siguro next time we can discuss paano nila malalaman sino ba yung Kung mga... Kung sinong pwedeng kopyahin. Magaling na kopyahin, no? So, uh, we can probably schedule a webinar, an yes. online seminar or kung nandito si Jeff ulit sa Manila, uh, aambusin ko siya ulit tapos yes, mag-discuss feel, ulit feel, tayo. Feel. Yes. So, saan ka ba based ngayon? Uh, right now, we're based in uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. So, um, ang office, na, so we have Ang pinakamalapit na office ng eToro sa Pilipinas ay nasa? Um, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yes. Okay. Um, but, um, so, ang office natin sa Hong Kong, it's a um, business development office for Southeast Asia. Uh-huh. And then, karamihan ng mga back-end natin, customer support, um, customer service, is nasa Shanghai. So, Shanghai. we have a dedicated office for Asia. Uh-huh. So, um, so one other thing lang is uh, eToro is we have offices uh, globally. Uh-huh. Our headquarters is in Cyprus, in Europe. Uh-huh. So, malayo eh. So, nag-open well, kasi, talaga. Kasi, ano siya, global talaga. Global talaga. talaga. So, Pero guys, kami ng Asian office. Pag, pag nabisita kayo sa Hong Kong, Punta kayo sa office ng Itoro. Itutour kayo doon ni Jeff. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. So, I guess that's it. No? Thank you guys for for watching and for uh, being patient with our video. So, I hope um, we see you sa Itoro platform. No? I-message nyo lang ako doon. I hope doon. to get your email. Uh-huh. <laughs> Message nyo lang ako doon kung nandun kayo so we can also have some discussion about yes, the financial right. market. So, so, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.